Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Francis, also known as Sassy Mingo. Happy Saturday. I am here. I didn't think I'd be here today. Um, welcome. First of all, welcome if you're new to my channel. Um, I'm glad you're here. Welcome back if you've been here before. Um, today I've got a Thread Up 15 mystery handbag box. I didn't think I was going to be here today because I had mouth surgery um, yesterday. And I woke up this morning. I was feeling a lot better. Um, I haven't taken a pain pill yet. The pain pill knocks me out. So um, FedEx delivered this box this morning. And I said, you know what? Let's let's go upstairs in the office and sell some purses while I'm feeling a little, while I'm feeling okay. My mouth, I probably sound a little funny. I've got a lot of stuff down here. I've got this stint on the top, but you know, the show must go on. So let's sell some purses. Um, I'm going to try to get through this pretty quickly. That's uh, so all we've got today is these thread up, um, 15 mystery bat box of purses. So hope y'all are having a good Saturday. I hope everybody that's watching and your family and your friends and and i hope everybody is okay from the storm on the east um i'm in south carolina and actually i'm in monk's corner which is south carolina but we fared very well we had a lot of wind and rain um you know our yard i say it looks like tossed salad there's leaves and branches and stuff like that everywhere, but no, no damage compared to what I have seen on the videos. It's, it's just devastating, um, what these storms can do. And then it looks like we've got another one coming in the same exact path that, that Helene just came through. So anyway, I hope everybody was safe and, um, I hope your family is safe and all that. So let's get into these 15 purses today. I'm excited. Y'all can see I'm wearing my, I got up, I got dressed. I made myself feel good. Um, I've mentioned before that I love turquoise jewelry and you always find turquoise and silver, but it's very hard to find turquoise and gold. And um, that's my favorite turquoise and gold. So I have on these turquoise and gold earrings that I thrifted. This is a J. Crew necklace that I thrifted. It's faux turquoise and gold. And then I have on my turquoise and gold stack bracelet by Victoria Emerson. I'm not sure this was not thrifted. I bought this. Um, I bought this new. Um, if you have never heard of Victoria Emerson jewelry, she she sells. She has some really cute stuff. Check her out. And then this ring, which is gold. It's hard to see. It's gold tone, and it has this, I um, think this is faux turquoise or something dyed to look like turquoise, and then we have these little aquamarine stones around. Got this in a Goodwill jewelry bag. I'm telling y'all, thrifted jewelry's the best. Anyway, let's, um, I'm not selling any jewelry today because I didn't want this video to be, 15 purses is a lot to go through. I can't lift the box up. It's too heavy. I had to get my husband to bring it upstairs for me. Um, the 15 Rescue handbag box is $120. I pay $9.99 shipping. And um, in South Carolina, we pay taxes. So um, I did have a little bit of thread up credits left. Thread up's changing the way they issue credits. So that's probably going to be the end of my credits. I'll be paying full price for every every box from now on. Um, got the tissue, the thread up tissue paper, and it's in pretty decent condition. Just a little wrinkled, but I do recycle that. I use it as stuffing in some of my shipping. So, as y'all can tell, I'm not all together here today. Um, but anyway, let's get started. Let's get started on these purses. I'm seeing. I'm seeing some color, but first of all, we have a brown, a very nice brown, large tote. Um, this is made well, y'all. <laughs> the last box I got, I had like three made well, three, three or four made well bags. 
This is a gorgeous, gorgeous brown leather, um, kind of a pebble leather, I guess. You know, I'm not a leather expert. I don't claim to be. The straps look to be in excellent condition. This tote is just wide open. You have a pocket. You have one zipper pocket. It's like a hanging pocket, and that's where it says made well. Let's see, the zipper works great. It's a very nice deep pocket, but besides that, it's just a big open tote. Great tote bag. Let's look at the bottom. Mm, the corners show a little bit of wear right here, but to me that just gives it that nice worn in leather look. <laughs> and of course the bottom and the corners, that's, that's expected. So here, very nice large tote. Um, oh, you could even, you can carry it, you can do it over your shoulders. You can carry it like this. Um, let's say Madewell tote. I'm gonna ask 45 for the Madewell tote. The only, only thing I see is that little wear on the corners on both sides. So, hey, that's a, that's a good start. Um, I also just want to say, I hope that my bottom teeth aren't showing because that's where all the putty is. That's where the surgery was. There's stitches there. So I hope y'all don't think I have gook in my teeth because that, that just grosses me out. But anyway, I'm sorry. Oh my, what do we have here? This is a little different. I didn't expect this in a, but you never know. This is a Polly Pocket backpack, new with tags. It looks like it came from Hot Topic. I know Polly Pocket is a hot little commodity. If you can find the little, the old little Polly Pocket sets with the with the doll and all the accessories inside. This is new with tags. You've got your Polly Pocket charms that are still wrapped in the plastic. And um, it's got, on the front it says, the tiny world of Polly Pocket. This is cute. This is cute. Let's look on the inside. The inside is brand new. It still has your packs, your silica packs. Um, it's gray on the inside. It's got the Polly Pocket logo. Um, oh, that's not the zipper. There is another little pocket on the front. Um, I'm going to say $20 for the Polly Pocket. I have no idea what these go for. Um, again, when I do a, when I do a bag, when I do a box opening of purses, I'm, um, I'm just winging it on prices because I don't have time to look it up. And I know I could look it up and then put a price on the screen so that when you are seeing this, but I, I like to just wing it. So we're going to say $20 for Polly Pocket. She's cute and she's new with the tag. Great Christmas gift. Great Christmas gift, y'all. All right. What do we have? Oh, oh, this is pretty. This is really pretty. Y'all look at this emerald green crushed velvet bag. Oh, this is nice. You have this, um, sorry that chain makes so much noise on my desk. You have this, um, I, I won't say braided, but you have this triangular looking strap. And then you have the crossbody strap with the gold chain and the green at the top. Let's open you up and see what you are. I don't think this is a name brand. I'm not seeing a, um, I'm not seeing a brand on this bag. There's a tag in here, but it just says, um, polyurethane. So it's faux leather. It's got your zip pocket. It's got a slip pocket and then the middle is just open. It zips closed. This is great for the holidays. It is, I just wanna make sure it's okay. This, 
this thing is on the nerve. This comes off. Um, this is your back. This is your bottom. Again, this is a faux leather bag, but it would be like an evening bag. Um, go to a wedding, go to a Christmas party. Um, it is, oh, it does have a pocket in the back, a snap pocket. The front snaps close. This right here seems to be a little, little wonky. I don't know. Um, I mean, it snaps. I don't know, it just seems a little wonky to me. But anyway, um, I'm just gonna ask 25 for this green bag. Um, there's no name. It's got the removable crossbody and then actually both straps. Both straps are removable. You have a double. So um, I'm just gonna call this green velvet, 25. So that's three. Sorry, I keep bending over this box. All right. Number four is this backpack. Let's see how she does. This would have to go like that. I don't know who she is yet. I'm not sure if she is or if she's just a faux. A, she feels like faux leather. It doesn't feel like leather to me. I may be wrong. Um, we have these zippers. We have a gold tone hardware and we have zippers on both sides. This is the bottom. The corners look good. She is a very nice tan color, light tan. The back has a zipper pocket that works. You have adjustable straps and the top handle. Sorry, y'all, <laughs> my, my, my talking is not the best. Um, she's brown on the interior and I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing a label and these are supposed to be name brand um, let me look at this thing again. Maybe it's not name brand. Rescue handbag, mixed handbag. So maybe we're not supposed to be name brand. I, I don't know. You have these side little pockets with the zippers. Both zippers work and you have just a little pocket. I couldn't fit my phone in that, um, but there is this pocket on the back. I don't think it's big enough for my phone either. So being that this is, let me see if there's a tag. If there is a tag, I can't, no. There's no tag on the inside. So, oh, there's a zipper pocket on the inside as well. There's, yeah. I don't know, there's two zipper pockets. Maybe am I missing something? Am I missing something here? <laughs> anyway, um, I'm gonna ask 15. I'm gonna ask 15 for this backpack. She's in great condition. I'm not seeing any sign of use. The inside is very clean. It's a dark brown on the inside. Um, so yeah, she goes like that. So she snaps close and has this pull, pull tab. Yeah, so we'll ask, um, for the tan backpack. We'll ask 15. Very nice. All right, now I need some, I need some name brand bags. Oh, this bag looks nice. I think this is going to be a new to me brand. Day and Mood. Let me get her all zipped up. So this is a medium to large size shoulder bag with a another strap and this strap is adjustable so she could be a crossbody. I feel like I'm fumbling today, y'all. All right, so this is the front of the bag with these um with these boho fringes on your zipper pull. You have 
So it looks like we have two pockets right here on the front. We have a pocket here. And then we have a pocket on this side. Let's look at the back. This is the back. She's also a light color. This is the bottom. You have some feet. This is your corners. The corners look good. Corners on this side look good. Your straps. Let's see your straps. They look well. They look good. They're um. They have a little bit of detail right here, if you can see. You have the name stamped right here, Day and Mood. It's like, in, you know, it's embossed into the leather. Um, this is what your side looks like with the fringe. You have, we have two zippers on the top, so we'll check that out in a minute. This is your side. This is removable. She's black on the inside. Let's see what the tag says. I can read it. Interior is 100% cotton leather, 100% leather. So she is leather, we got a little fuzzball in there. So this section right here has a zipper pocket that works, the zipper's in great condition. So you have a big section here with the fringe pull on the zipper pull. Then this section has, there's a lot of fuzzy wuzzies in here, y'all, sorry. This section, has a piece of paper. This section has your slips and it's wide open. It's very clean on the inside. I'm not noticing, except for the little bit of fuzzies you know, it needs a good vacuuming out, and I'll do that for you. It almost looked like there was another section. All right, so for this, the only thing I'm seeing on the outside is this little this spot right here. It's a little bit darker, you can see right here. Um, it's a new-to-me brand. One, one reason why I like getting these boxes is because I'm learning new brands as I go along here. I'm sharing these nice leather bags with you all. And we will say 50 for the day and mood. Day and mood, we're gonna ask 50. So, so far, of course I wore a black shirt. I'm gonna get everything on it. Um, if I didn't mention, this is removable. You know what, this this side, this side has got a little issue. Let's see here. So, no, I guess maybe it's supposed to be like that. I don't know. But this, this, this strap is removable. You have, it's an antique hardware, antique gold hardware. As you can see, and you have these big buckles on each side that are removable. You have large shoulder strap to carry the bag, or you can use the crossbody. So yeah, day and mood, you've got this little, um, these little leather straps, I guess you would call detail on the front. Really cute. This is a medium to large size bag. I would consider this a large bag for me because I, I like to carry a small crossbody. But yeah, if anybody knows this brand, let me know. Let me know what you know about Day and Mood. Next, we have a bright blue bag. Let me check her out. She also comes with a little, um, a little pouch. This is B. Mikowski. I love her bags. I never knew about, um, B. Mikowski until I started getting these thread up bags. 
All right, so we have, we have this tied to the outside. Let me get this straight again, y'all. I'm fumbling today. I probably shouldn't have done this. All right, so this is the front of the bag. It's a hobo style, hobo style bag. Like, you know, it's slouchy. We have this little blue pouch that matches a little wristlet. It's attached, but it but you can unattach it. You know what I'm saying? It hangs off the front like this, but then this can be taken off. It still has the plastic tabs on it. Now this purse does not look new, so I know it's not new. This is the inside of your little little wristlet. You have your card slots, and then you have your ID on the back. It zips all the way around, and it also has a front pocket. All right, your crossbody strap, which is removable, is in excellent condition. This is your top strap. It looks good. We have a zipper on the top. This is the back of the bag. We have a little pocket. I don't know. No, my phone won't fit, it's too wide. I have the iPhone 13 Pro Max. This is the front of the bag. It has two zipper pockets with the fringe zipper pull. We have gold hardware. This is a pebbled leather zipper on the top. The inside is tan. Trying to show you, you have your B. Mikowski right here. You have a zipper pocket that works. And then you have two slips over here. Let's look at the bottom. This is the bottom of the bag. Everything looks good. You have your feet. Now the feet look silver. No, they're gold. It's gold hardware with this ring light. Sometimes y'all, the coloring gets off, looks different to me. I wanted to check the bag here. So I'm seeing, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but right here is a little discoloration. It's a mark. I don't know if I'll be able to get that off. So as it is right now today, I'm gonna say 45 for the Bukowski, B. Mikowski. Oh, my pen, my pen's dying. Forty-five for all leather, hobo style. You have a top handle. Um, this isn't a cross, I don't think this is long enough for a crossbody. This is just the longer handle. And then it also comes with the zipper pouch. Isn't that neat? That's a nice bag, y'all, for $45. The discoloration is right here on the back. Again, I can't tell if you can see it. It's not, well, it's like a light, it looks like a tan color. I don't know if um, I'll be able to wipe that off. I'll try to wipe it off before. I mean, I will definitely try to get it off before I send it to you. And if you get it off, then you're getting a great deal for an all leather B. Mikowski bag. But because that's there, I can't guarantee that I can get that off. I'm gonna ask 45 for her. Woo! We got a lot more bags left, y'all. I haven't even been counting. But we'll count at the end. What do we have here? This looks, this looks different. So this is what we have here. I do not, no, this one's broke. This one is broke. Well, well, thread up. I bet you my husband can fix this. So I'm not gonna offer her for sale because as you can see, this back strap is broke. The little gold bar that goes through there and hooks into here is gone. Now, whether it came apart in shipping, I don't know, 
but we'll go ahead and look at this bag. This bag looks like it's vintage. It's, it is all leather. On the inside, it says, Made in Italy, Orient Express Collection, Venice something. Venice Stargate? I don't know. But it's a very stiff bag, very structured, if I must say so. So this is the side. This is the bottom. And this is this side. She has a zipper closure. Now, she has, all right, so you can see she has a zipper closure, but then she has this open pocket here, open pocket here, and of course, the handles, but this one has come apart. So, there's the bottom. Because she's not stuffed, she's just a little wonky. She has, she's that smooth leather, so there are some surface scratches. I'm loving this logo right here. It looks royal. It looks like a crown and almost looks like, maybe it's OE for Orient Express. I don't know. But anyway, if you're interested in this bag, send me an email. Oh my goodness. I didn't even tell y'all how to order. I've been taking some pain medicine and I'm, I'm off. I'm really off y'all. I'm so sorry. So anyway, let me tell you, I'm not going to give a price for her because I'm going to see if I can get my husband to fix her. And if I can fix her, I will offer her up in my next video. But if you would like her, send me an email and I, by then I'll let you know if my husband was able to fix her or not. If he wasn't able to fix her, I'll give you a really good price. Um, but let me stop right here. And so if you would like to order from this video today, any of these bags, um, you will need to send me an email. My email will be in the description below and it will also be pinned in the top comment. In the top comment, it'll say email and I'll list my email. And then under that will be sold and pending. Anything that's under the sold list has sold. The person's paid everything went through and the purse is in the process of being shipped out. Anything under pending is somebody said they wanted it, but they haven't paid yet. And it will stay in the pending column until I receive their payment. I allow up to 24 hours for payment. Most people pay right away, which has been really great. My subscribers, my watchers, they're, my customers, they, they're, they're awesome. Y'all are awesome. And I appreciate you so, so much. But however, if you see something in the pending file, in the pending column <laughs> file, and you and it's something that you're interested in, go ahead and send me an email. And that way, if that person doesn't pay and you're you're the next in line, you know, I'll offer the bag to you. I'll email you and say, hey, this bag is now available. Do you still want it? And then I'll invoice you and you know, so forth. But if it's undersold, it's sold. Sorry, I didn't give those instructions at the beginning. Um, I'm a little off today, y'all, a little off, but I thought since I got this box and I felt like getting up and getting dressed that I would go ahead and do this video. So I'm a little disappointed in this bag, but it is a rescue box. That's the thing about thread up. That's the thing about America's thrift supply. That's about anytime you order these mystery boxes from these websites, you know, it is listed that you may have to do some repairs on some of these bags. These bags are not new, not guaranteed. They're definitely not guaranteed to be new. So if you get a new one, it's, it's great. Um, uh, so anyway, this bag right here, Orient Express, made in Italy. It is a hard structured leather bag. I'm gonna have to um, see if my husband can fix the handle for you guys and I'll offer her up next time. But if you want her the way she is, send me an email. Alrighty, our next bag is Odell, New York. Never heard of Odell, New York. Um, I was gonna see if I could find a tag so I could tell whether she was leather or not. Um, just says made in China. 
I don't think she is. This bag is a is a dark gray. We have gold hardware. She does not have her crossbody strap with her, but you can always add a really nice, you know, guitar strap, embellished strap. This is the bottom. This bag looks to be in new condition. Does not look. We have a pocket back here. Looking to see if there was something. These are your handles. This is a me definitely on the medium size, small to medium. This is your inside. Right here is just oh, I got stuck. It's just a little, there's nothing stamped on that. It's just a little faux label, I guess. You have a zipper pocket. It's brown on the no, it's gray. It's the it's this dark gray on the inside. It's very clean on the inside. There are two slips right here. And for this bag, I'm gonna say 25. 25 for the Odell New York. This is a good, good, good size bag. Um, there's some little spots on the back, but I just scratched them off. They're just surface, surface things. Gold hardware, if I didn't already mention that. Your bottom. And I'm gonna say 25 for the Odell. Odell, New York. Never heard of this brand. Lots of new to me brands. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. I'm going to set her right there, too. I have no idea what the count is, y'all. But we'll, we'll count them back. This one looks nice. What do we have here? This is a Liz Claiborne. Liz Claiborne polyurethane, so she is not leather, faux leather. She is a animal texture snake print. Gray and beige, and also it's got a little bit of green tint to her. This is a cute bag. You have this tiny little pocket on the back. But this is the front. You have silver hardware and you have Liz Claiborne stamped on both of the um, silver silver hook things right here. The front is magnetic. The back, this is what the back looks like. You have a slip pocket. This is the bottom. I hope that green color is coming through because it is really, really a pretty, pretty color combo here. This is your corners. I'm not seeing anywhere. I'm not seeing anywhere. Oh, no, that's not where. That's just the, the color. That's just the, the pattern. On the handles, this is a top handle bag, shoulder bag, satchel. The inside is pink, y'all. That's a little surprise. The inside has a few surface stains that I can see. There's your inside. You have a zip pocket with some slips and some card holders. And then you have three slips over here that are lined with the, um, the same thing that's on the outside. Nice, big, open, open bag. Um, I'm going to ask 25 for the Liz Claiborne. Why am I having problems with that snap? There. So 25. For this, this is a um, on the larger size bag for the Liz Claiborne, 25. This is a, this is a smart, sophisticated bag looking to me like, you know, the lady with the alligator purse. That's kind of what it reminds me of, like a doctor bag type thing. Um, there's the sides. There are there are any hooks for a crossbody strap. So this is a true shoulder bag. Okay. Oh, this next one is my color. 
This next one is hot pink. What are you? What are you? It's got a zipper on both sides, a zipper pocket on both sides. This is what we're looking at. Another hobo style, sloppy, soft, soft, soft leather. Let's see if you have a name. Do you have a name? Great American Leather Works, 100% leather exterior. So, Great American Leather Works. I don't know. So, we have a hot pink hobo style leather bag. This is your bottom and your corners. Everything looks good. You have one side with the big zip pocket on the front. You have this side that has the big zip pocket on this side. You can fit lots of stuff in there. And then on the inside, you have a zipper and slips. And the inside is pink as well. And here's your, um, Here's your labels right here. This right here, I don't, that's, it's got this little round thing right here, but it's really not, there's nothing underneath it. So I was thinking it was magnetic, but it's not. Um, so it's open, it's an open bag, hobo style, shoulder, very super soft pep. No, this isn't. This is a pebble leather. This is just, just like a crinkly leather. Buttery soft. Hmm. I'm gonna say 45 for her too. For this pink bag, I'm tempted to keep this pink bag. You know me, but I'm not. I don't need any more bags. Great American. Inside is clean, y'all. I'm not seeing any, any stains. I like to check them out as much as I can while I'm giving a price because, you know, I like to disclose everything. I don't wanna have to come back to you after you said you wanted it and I say, oh, I found this. This is your sides. I would almost use this kind of like a tote because I like a smaller bat, small, smaller purse. But if you like a bigger purse, this is great. I can't drink out of a straw, so I'm having to drink my water out of a cup and it's hard. All right, ooh, I like this one. Look at this. Look at this. How does this do? All right, so there, is not a name brand in this purse. I didn't think there would be. We had two little marble looking things. I hope that's not, I don't know what that was. All right, so let's take a look at her. This is a leather embossed, perforated bag this is a i believe this is a vintage bag y'all this is gorgeous looks like we have a spot we have a little dark spot right there this is the bottom this is this is i'm trying to figure out anyway this is your bottom this is your side oh this side's got a Got a mark too, but that's just part of it. It's just, it looks really dark in the video, but I think it's just the leather. I might, I'll wipe that too to see if I can't get that off. You have like an antique silver hardware. You have a crossbody strap that is very adjustable. It's very long. So, ain't she cute? And then to open it, this is what I was, 
didn't know about. So this is your strap to open it, but why is it so much longer here? I don't know, but anyway, so she is rough leather on the inside, you know, raw leather. You have that compartment and then you have that compartment. Hmm. There's no name brand. She's definitely leather. She is on the smaller size, crossbody. Very boho, great for a country western concert event um what am i gonna ask for her this is the top still trying to figure her out this is your strap it's the raw leather on that strap side and the smooth leather on this side and as you can see the the holes go all the way down to the end so you can make this really long or this so, I'm going to ask 35 for the leather bag, for the um, boho leather. I'm going to ask 35 for her. She does have a mark on that side, and she has a little teeny mark on that side. But I think that's just being from age, from being this leather. God, I remember in the 70s, my sisters, my sisters had bags like these. Anyway, so that's, that's that. 35 for that bag. We got another black bag. I'm going to say this is not my best bag, my best box of um, the 15. The last one I got was amazing. All right, so we have this black bag bag i believe she's leather i'll have to look on the inside we have a zipper here we have a turn lock here that is showing signs of wear it's silver but you can see like the brass coming through you have straps for a cross body but the cross body i do not i don't think the cross body is on the inside no nope. we have a back pocket that has a magnetic closure these Oh, this one looks okay. This one looks a little tattered, like it's been pulled. I mean, it's still there, but the leather has come frayed a little bit. All right, let's look on that. We have a top handle. This is the top. Let's look at the bottom. This is the bottom. Definitely been pre-loved. This is a halogen. A halogen bag. I'm not familiar with halogen. Halogen. She is dirty on the inside. I can tell you that. Lots of crumbs. She is genuine leather. But she is dirty. She is very dirty on the inside. Now see, we have two slips here. We have a zipper here. We have the halogen name right here. Based on the condition of this bag, I have a zipper in the front. It works, silver hardware. Crossbody strap is not with the bag. I'm gonna say 30 for the halogen. 30 for the all leather halogen bag. Thirty. All righty. What do we have here? We have a boho southwestern looking crossbody with a canvas. We have a canvas back. This is like an army green with tan trim. You have a zipper pocket on the back. Deep, deep pocket. Definitely your phone will fit in that. The front, you have this cute little antique hardware 
antique gold hardware lock. There's also a snap. Let's see. See, it's got the snap on there. I thought there might be a snap. I'm not seeing a snap. The strap is removable. The strap feels like leather. It is adjustable. Mm, my nose is starting to itch. The inside is fairly clean. You have a blue and white stripe. That's kind of odd for the inside of this bag. Um, I wouldn't imagine it to have a blue and white stripe like that. Um, it's a zipper closure. Zipper works. She's a big, big crossbody. She's a big size for a crossbody. See? Lots of room. This right here feels like leather. I don't know. Let's see. That says to dry clean only. I don't think this is leather then. If that says dry, well, the strap can be removed. The strap, but there's not a material tag. It just says do not wash. Dry clean only. That's the only tag. There is no name brand. You have a zipper pocket. This is the inside. Another great country and Western bag, style bag. Get her buckled back so we can see. See what she looks like. Really cute boho bag. I can see my daughter carrying this bag. I'm gonna ask 25 for her. 25 for this bag. I don't know the name, so I'm just gonna name her Southwestern. 25 for this bag. Great for the fall. Look at these fall colors, y'all. I love this. I love these patterns like this. Okay. Looks like we've got two left. What are you? What are you? Another no-name ba bag. I'm not, I can say I'm not too happy with this box. <laughs> My last 15 thread up box was amazing. This one, so 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 we have this feels like faux leather there's there was no name on the inside this cute little bag it is precious though um i wish i had stuffing to stuff her so you could see her shape there's silver hardware here we go this does it better you have this tiny little strap here and then you have this removable strap here. What I would probably do with this bag is put a different color, you know, get one of those really colorful guitar straps that had this color in it. This bag seems to be brand new, never used. That's probably why Thread Up sent her in the rescue box because they could not list her. The bottom looks brand new. This there are no tags on the inside so i'm going to assume she is not leather um there's the inside you have a zipper and you have a slip this is your side this little handle is so cute it's it's thick it's a thick i'm gonna say 25 for the for this little tan bag I'll call her Little Tan Bag. <laughs> I don't know what else to call her. Sorry, y'all. Everything looks brand new on this bag. Okay, don't fall. And then our last bag is another black leather top handle bag. We have black leather with silver hardware. We have a pocket on this side and a pocket on this side. These pockets have 
snap closure. Whoop. Let's see what she is. She's something. Okay, this is a tig Tignalio. Tignalio, T-I-G-N-A-N-E-L-L-O, Tignalio. I, -L -L -O, Tignelio. I, um, I, I could tell by, because when I saw the pattern on the inside of the little side, it has that like chain link pattern. Very pretty. So let's, let's, she has a magnetic closure. This is the bottom. These are the corners. Everything looks pretty good. For a used bag she is a soft soft leather these are your handles they're in good condition again silver hardware you've got some silver studs you got this little strap looking thing right here you got this down here you have two pockets on each side that see if I can show y'all this. They snap close on either side. And then the inside is three sections. You have the zipper section in the middle. You have this section with your branding and your zipper pocket. Let's see, we have a tag. We do have a tag. Genuine leather. And then this side has two slips. Two slips on this side. The middle zipper pocket has some trash. <laughs> Let's check out the zipper. The zipper works. So this is your inside. I love this. Um, I love this pattern. I'd like to have a blouse with this pattern. Magnetic closure, shoulder bag, black leather, medium size, and we're gonna do 35. 35 for the Tignello, Tig, Tignanello, I don't know, y'all, whatever. Um, so, that is the end of our box. Just to recap real quick, and I think I've said this a couple times, I'm not too happy with this. There was quite a few no name, and I've never gotten that, like, I've gotten no name bags in this box before, but it was one, maybe two. I think, I don't even know how many I got this time. So anyway, it is what it is. It's a mystery rescue box. So I'm rescuing these bags, and hopefully I can, I can find them a new home. Um, and they don't end up in the landfill. So that's what it's all about, right? Right. All right. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. I can reach them. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. 15. So, if out of all the bags, I have to say my favorite is the Madewell, and close runner-up is the Blue B. Mikowski. Even though I love hot pink, um, these are my two favorites. So, we got 15 bags exactly. Um, we are almost at an hour. My goodness, I knew it would take long to do 15 bags. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope you saw something you like, and if you do, you're able to get it. You're the first to email me. Um, again, just send me an email. My email is below. It's zandomom at gmail.com. I appreciate you watching. Um, a thumbs up, a subscribe.
if you subscribe, hit the bell notification, helps out the channel. Um, and that's all I have for today. I hope everybody's having a good weekend. I think after this, I'm going to go lay down, take another pain pill. My mouth is starting to hurt. I got to do my rinse. And then I'm going to lay down. So I'll be checking my emails. If anybody is interested in a purse, just send me an email. Y'all have a great day. Bye now.